Hey everyone, this is going to be a video to showcase how to onboard your first EOR. It'll be four parts. Uh, the initial part will be how to upload their contract, get them into the system initially. Then we'll show how to show the tracker, how to keep track of where they are in the onboarding process and what needs to be done from the client side, the employee side. We'll show how to add a payment for when the time comes to pay the EOR. Uh, last but not least, we'll show how to make any future amendments to the EOR contract. So we'll start here on the home page. We'll go here into the people tab, click people. And we're going to go over here to the right, add people. You'll have the option for employee contractor. In this case, it'll be an employee. So you'll click this. And in this specific case, it'll be an EOR employee. So we'll go into this. When you select the entity, um, you'll have the list of the countries in which the EOR will be located. So we'll say that for this one, it'll be the Canadian entity. We'll add them to the Canadian group, which is something that you can also create within the deal portal. We'll go ahead and throw in some of the contact information. So we'll say it's for John Smith. Okay, and it'll be John. Smith. And in this case, John will be from Canada, being employed in Canada. Let's scroll down, select the province. Over here is the HRIS part of deal. So you can select who their manager will be, um, the report. All of this is customizable and you can change it as you go on. For now, we'll skip that part. Again, just areas to customize the team, the department, and then the hiring objective. So considering this will be the first EOR, we'll say it's a one-off hire in Canada. Click continue. And then for the role, we'll say it's an account manager. Seniority level, say a mid. Job scope. This, you'll have a, a lot of templates that you can use from deal itself, or you can go ahead and customize your own personal template. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just use the account manager. Here you get an idea of the general purpose, duties and responsibilities. Again, this is all customized to whatever works for this specific role. So we'll click continue. And in this case, we'll say that John is full-time. Automatically, you can see that it prompts the Canadian laws, which is 40 hours a week, will be considered a full-time employee. Here you'll put in the, the salary. Uh, it's important to note if you're adding annual or hourly. So in this case, I'm making sure that I'm adding annual and we'll say it's $100,000. It'll give you the, the USD conversion for that as well. This you'll get the market rate insights. So it just gives you a good idea of what similar roles and salaries will be for the account manager position. You can add different fixed allowances, variable compensation, very easy to customize depending on the specific employee, but we'll skip over that for now. And in employment terms, you can define it if it'll, uh, the contract will have an end date or if it'll be indefinite. And then when their desired start date will be. Something good to note is that um, there will be a tracker to keep track of everything that needs to be done for the EOR to get onboarded. It may take some days for all the documents to come in, both from the client side and the EOR side. So it'll be important to allocate enough time um, specifically to when they might start. So in this case, let's say that they're gonna start on the 14th. Here you can select the time off policies. So the minimum legal requirement in Canada, you can see here is 15. Maybe I want to go in and add 20 specific to, to our regulations. And then you'll add in the number of probation days. You'll see that legally the maximum will be 90. So all of this will be triggered depending on the country that you're looking to onboard that you are. Um, and if you want to go change it, for example, it'll tell you that the maximum is 90. So we'll keep it at 90. Here you can see you can add life insurance, pension, health care. It says that in Canada, life insurance and health care are mandatory. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. This will be our preferred partner, but you can always 
speak to HRX and we can help out if there's a defined partner that they want to be going for. But for now, you can see that it's with Alliance. You select the plan. So here's plan four for the Alliance. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to go down to healthcare and our preferred partner here, you can see is Manulife. I've selected the gold plan. So we're going to add that as well. So here's a space where you can add any additional uh, requirements. So business travel insurance, your equity service, you can do a background check. Very easy to add within the program here. And then you're going to go down and hit request the quote. So you can see once that loads, I have John Smith, account manager, set to start in 11 days. And it's going to tell you what the next steps are going to be. So it's best to review this. You can always reject the quote if there's something that's um, not fit in the quote. When you scroll down, you can see that you have the employee agreement that's generated automatically via the information that you put in. Then you have the monthly employment breakdown, what they'll be paid the employer costs, benefits and admin, deal management. This will be very important when you're looking at the invoices, uh, when you start paying the EOR. I'd say it's a good idea to look at the breakdowns just so you can get a good idea of you know where the funds are going and what is contributed to each portion of the invoice. That'll give you a good idea in the future, month by month as the funds start coming in. So you can see here how it's all broken down. And this will be the refundable deposit. So the first month that the EOR is coming on board, uh, we'll pay a one month salary to the EOR. This will be held up until the point if and when the contract is terminated, you would begin the termination process within the deal platform. And then 30 to 60 days after everything is complete within the termination, this refund will come back to your deal account and you can withdraw it. But we can go into that a little bit further when we get into the, the payment section. This is a EOR guide, which you can download and view some additional information that'll help out. That's just confirming the annual gross salary. And here you can add, again, the variable compensation. If you forgot to add it before, you can go to edit, add it again, or fix allowances. So now we have all this information. We just confirmed that it's all correct. And making sure to add anything else that might be needed. We can see here that the email is correct. That'll be good to confirm as well, because as soon as this is complete, then John will receive a welcome aboard email from deal, uh, which they will have to fill out and make sure that they have all the correct information. That'll finalize the process and get them officially onto deal. So I'm gonna go down and hit accept the quote. We'll confirm that. You can see here that we're all good to go. So the next step is gonna be making sure that all of the necessary steps are completed to make sure that John is officially on the platform and can sign the contract. So you want to make sure that everything is done on your end. We can go here to the tracker, which we'll get into on the next video and see here, John Smith set to start April 14th. And you can check that information.